What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. And what we're going to be checking out today, if we go here, oh, that's not it. Uh, we're going to check out our Warlog. We did have a random match, um, had a random match against Benoit Banditos 1, who's actually a contestant in CWL Premier. I believe the record is 6-2 and two at the moment. And as you see, they were able to get the victory against us. Um, Fortune Seal did take the loss. It was a midweek war. It seemed, it seemed pretty casual, as you see. Um, they didn't even clear one of our 11s. Uh, I will say this. They did very well on dips. They did have three 10 V10s, and their dips were on point. And as you see on our side of the map, we even, so they left an 11 up, we left an 11 up. I believe we actually had one extra Town Hall 10. I uh, don't know the exact breakdown, but we, we both had six Town Hall 11s, and we did have uh, their Town Hall 10s went to number 21. And ours went down to 22. And I'm going to be showing the hit on my base uh, later in the video. And it is the most insane hog attack I have ever seen. But we will get to that. I did want to start off. We will go here up at the top. We actually had an 11 v 11 triple. You guys know him by now. Warbucks, a.k.a. Captain Crunch can be taken on this base. Uh, this base did give us a big headache. Uh, did absorb... I want to say four hits or so. Um, so definitely struggled. I'm uh, not gonna lie, definitely struggled. 10 v 11. Again, it felt it felt very casual, um, but we are geared up and ready for our CW, CWL Premier match that's going down this weekend against Terps Win Big. Want to wish them best of luck. We are looking forward to it. But yeah, it just seemed uh, pretty casual. And we were not able to double this base with our 11s. Got close. Sometimes we had a high percentage, no town hall. Or we'd get the town hall, not enough percentage. That kind of thing. Uh, did struggle with it. So, that set up the show for Captain Crunch to come in here with the 11v11 triple. Uh, 11v11 attempt. And it ends up getting the triple. It does come down to the wire, as you guys are about to see. But yeah, just bringing... Um, three jumps just you know funneled down there at the bottom right hand side and you know obviously using bitch on this attack which is very very strong again especially on um you know we, we do know 11 v 11s are very difficult and very rare to get the opportunity um to even do one but with the base setups uh it they're optimal for an attack like this when we do uh, you know when we do get the rare chance to 11 v 11 bitch is usually uh what we're going to be doing and as you see again coming down to the y here just a few defenses left does still have the warden up still has a few uh witches bowlers and just has that cannon right here you guys are about to see what happens i'm just going to times for this real quick does have the witches and the skellies trying to grab that three star has about 10 seconds left nothing but the cannon up but still has i want to say he had four witches up didn't look like it but did end with four witches captain crunch getting our one and only 11 v 11 triple this war absolutely loved it uh good attack to him and he did uh six pack this war uh he did dip uh, 11 v 10 got the three star now i do want to check out uh we did have two 10 v 10s this war so we'll go ahead and check out Spart, a.k.a. Robin Hood, bring in his second Town Hall 10 account. Um, we've known him uh, for quite some time coming out of Ledich Tug. Uh, we are good friends with a lot of the guys from that clan. And he picked up this um, Town Hall 10 that he brought to FFS. So best opportunity or a good opportunity to welcome him to the FFS family, Robin Hood, and doing it big. His first war with us ends up getting a 10v10 triple. So really good stuff. You see he's going to be breaking in this base. This would actually be a really good uh, progression video. I do like doing those progression videos for you guys. Uh, this entry, we did try it. Um, 
I want to say three. Uh, this might have been the fourth attempt on this base. And the other 10v10 I'm going to be showing you guys that, that Goove's got, same thing. Tweaked the plan a few times uh, till we finally got it right. Um, you know, we tried lolloing up at 12 o'clock, didn't work out. So again, just tweaking the plan and Robin Hood coming in stealing the show ends up doing a beautiful lalo does have a, a pair of skellies for the queen you see he's got everything raged up nice freeze on the inferno tower if you guys missed it uh that su uh, the sui heroes over at nine o'clock uh did pick up the first inferno tower had a freeze uh, all those loons basically one shot it uh, followed up by that haste to get them out of there and you'll see the last air targeting defenses is that archer tower and that wizard tower just has a whole lot of loons look at all those loons uh does still have pups as well has plenty of uh minions for cleanup so again doing it really big uh robin hood is first war uh with us um, ends up getting a 10 v 10. So again, welcome to the clan looking forward uh, to some CWO matches with you We're gonna have a lot of fun and he's bet, you know, definitely bringing fire to the clan Doing it real big good job to Robin Hood aka Spart on that one and you guys already know we're gonna be checking out Gooves right here so This entry up here at 12 o'clock very interesting again. This would also be a really good progression video uh, with the queen on the town hall, just, ju I mean, look at this range right here, just out of range uh, from that archer tower, just a couple tiles, and you guys are going to see, so originally our plan for this base was bringing dragons down here. Uh, you know, from about three to five, uh, you know, six to three kind of thing, uh, bringing in drags, but just was not getting the job done. I actually also uh, failed on this base doing it with the dragon attack. So we ended up switching up. It was the same entry every single time uh, with the bowlers and everything. Uh, dump the heel basically just wanted to get the two air defenses Gooves ends up getting this air defense right there just to the left of the queen altar uh, ends up getting that air defense as well uh, but again same entry but the difference is he's doing it with Lalo does uh, he did have the CC bowlers um, or he did have the bowlers coming out of the CC and he has two camp hounds and 30 loons you're gonna see right there starting off at six o'clock right there and just bringing them all in uh, double drops the hounds come around each side at about uh, four and eight o'clock hasting everything in has that little try haste right there followed up by the double rage leading everything in hounds are still tanking um, that air defense so just as a completely wrecking this base I'm telling you guys when you see these town hall 10 three stars it really makes you think well that doesn't look that hard. Why can't I do that? I'm telling you, it is so hard, especially myself. I'm just asking anybody in the clan. I'm having a lot of struggles right now um, at Town Hall 10. Not going to lie. But you see Gooves coming in here and just making it look so easy. A lot of jealousy, a lot of envy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We love you, Gooves. But I mean, I'm telling you, he's basically averaging uh, at least one 10v10 everywhere. Hope I'm not jinxing him, but he has just been shredding these bases and just making it look so easy. And that's when you know that it's a good attack. When you watch an attack and everything just goes so smooth. I mean, just ending, ending with a whole lot of loons, you really think when you watch the plan, why didn't I think of that? So really good job to Goof switching it up. He said, I'm not using those stupid dragons. I'm going to be doing it Lalo style. Ends up getting the three star, completely crushing it. So good job uh, to Goofs with our second 10v10 of this war. Okay, this is the showcase right here. How, how often do you see this? I am going to be showing the attack on my base. And I'm going to tell you guys. This is the most bizarre attack I've ever seen. I'm really curious uh, of your guys' comments. So I, I want, I, I'm, I really want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this. So you'll see it's going to be doing a CB uh, hobo, basically. Does have a freeze, has two heals, a rage uh, for the kill squad, four quakes, but there's going to be some bizarre things going on. Does have CC haw or does have hogs in the CC. Let's look at what he does here. So usually quad quake, you're going to be dropping them all together. Okay. So right now he's just starting the funnel, nothing funky going on, no funny business. So there goes the first quake right there. Drops the first quake by the DE 
uh, DE Storage. Maybe Almer, uh, whatever's after you know, your name, Almer, you know, maybe he can fill me in. Hopefully he watches this video, leaves a comment. I'm burning my base here for you guys on this one. So drops one, drops his Max Quake by the DE Storage, and then he drops the other three quakes way over there by the town hall. So it's already looking really bizarre. I do not know why that happened. First time I've seen it. I have seen the quakes kind of drop down um, next to each other where they kind of overlap to create like a small break uh, into a compartment, but nothing like that. And this is where it gets even weirder. He drops the CC hogs, guys. He drops the CC hogs with his kill squad. So Gollum came down, uh, dropped his uh, king bowlers, and then he dropped his CC hogs with the kill squad. What is going on here? Basically uh, suicided the queen over at three o'clock. So I don't know what's going on. Hound is locked on the Gollum. Really, really good value there. And right now he's just trickling hogs in. This base was scouted, so they do know that most of the bombs are on the outside of the base to help prevent bitch. So he did drop one giant to trigger that giant bomb that was between those storages. Nice freeze on the Inferno Tower and just has a couple hogs that are taking out that Wizard Tower. Has a heal for these last um, few defenses right here. He's all out of spells. But, you know, e e you know, even those level six hogs are very strong, especially against um, the Town Hall 9 cannons that I have and the one upgrade level to the Archer Towers that I've done at Town Hall 10. It ends up with a whole lot of hogs, even still has some CC hogs. No, I think those are all, no, those are all level six hogs. But regardless, let me know. I, I've i never seen, I mean, everything I know is wrong. I've never actually seen an attack like that. And a few of us um, watch this attack live. And I, I don't know what to make of it. I'm not talking, you know, do not get me wrong. I'm not saying this was not modded. That's not what I'm referring to. What I'm referring to is the really weird uh, EQ uh, placement as you guys can see them right there and then dropping the CC hogs was that a misclick? I, I really don't think it was Almer knows how to play this game. I'm telling you what this guy is very good Last building to go down was the DE storage. So I don't know if it has to do with uh, Weird pathing again. Maybe there's something I don't know a lot of us were just scratching our heads and just could not figure out what was going on with the earthquakes and and the CC Hogs with the Kill Squad. Again, really bizarre stuff. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I hope you, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Again, the war results. Pin, uh, Pinoy Bandidos won, taking the victory 107 to 110. Uh, GG to them. And good luck to you guys in this season. And again, uh, for those of you wondering... Just to reiterate, this was not a CWL match. This was just a random spin. Ah, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, just want to show you guys some of those cool attacks, some 10v10 action, and that absolutely bizarre um, hog attack on my base. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you guys... Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And as always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.